just how populist is AMLO, as he's referred to, when we've been reporting that he's been meeting with business leaders and executives from U.S. banks like J.P. Morgan or, or Citigroup? Hi there. Yes, he uh, he's trying to tone down his message, but there's still a lot of questions about uh, key factors, including the energy reform, uh, which at first he wanted to completely undo a huge airport project that he's talking about dismantling. And uh, you know, speaking of elections that no one's prepared for, uh, there's there's a comparison to Trump because people weren't uh, expecting necessarily at this stage uh, in 2016 a win by Trump. In Mexico, I would say there's even more denial <laughs> because the polls are showing López Obrador nine points ahead of his nearest rival, and still the markets haven't really priced it in. Okay, back up. Uh, so he's left. What specifically is he saying that he's going to do? On energy reform, originally he had said he wanted to cancel this landmark uh, law to open the energy sector for the first time for private investment. Uh, he since lightened his tone and said, well, we're just going to review the contracts. Uh, some of the people in his cabinet say the contracts are fine. It's, the problem is you're not really clear on what he would do once he gets into office if he wins. So, you know, there's just a lot up in the air on the energy reform specifically. Um, and then on the airport, it's a $13 billion project. Um, and he said that he uh, wants to dismantle this huge construction site that is already underway so that he can move the project to a cheaper site. Uh, but investors are worried what would happen to all the material that's already been spent, all of the, the debt that's already been taken out for this new airport project. Um, and Naha, we have a, a chart here looking at the Mexpol index, the, the stock market there in Mexico uh, versus the MSCI Emerging Market Index. It has been outperforming, um, although not by a huge margin, but I, I'm curious where the polling is right now and where investors are putting the risk that, uh, that they're not pricing in a high enough chance that he actually could be victorious. Well, for the investors who are paying attention, uh, you know, we're hearing forecasts of as much of, of a 15 percent dip in the stock market if Lopez Obrador wins the election. Uh, we're also hearing about peso volatility. According to BBVA, it could be we could see a drop of about 7 percent in the peso. Moody's has said it could be a very drastic drop as well as although once we see how he implements his policies, can we, you know, only once that happens, can we really see how poorly the market would perform? And what's interesting about Obrador, uh, Nahan, is that he ran in 2006 and 2012 and he was defeated each time. You mentioned that he's kind of changed his tone a little bit here when it comes to the state run oil company. Has his message overall changed since his previous runs or has the environment changed and therefore voters' receptivity, reception to, to his platform changed? That's a really good question. I think it's more the latter. And uh, because of the people changing their views, you don't see the protests in the street that, that you would have seen 12 years ago. He has also had to come in and modify his views, especially because he's talking to businessmen. He's dealing more and more with CEOs and, and people that he didn't have the access to back you know, 12 years ago. So he's kind of learned and grown in that area. But investors are still wary because they don't know exactly what he's going to do when he gets if, if he gets into power it's still not clear now finally I would like to ask you given the news here in the United States today uh, with Robert Mueller unveiling these indictments and alleging all of this Russian meddling in the US electoral process what's going on there in Mexico is this a topic of discussion is it being investigated there as well Really good question. So the U.S. Uh, Tillerson was here talking about the possibility of Russia meddling. There's been some lawmakers in the U.S. that have uh, talked about that possibility or, or raised the concern. But in Mexico, the mood on the ground is there's they really don't have proof. They're they're not really concerned about it. And the way that uh, people are worried about the meddling specifically would be to give a lift to Lopez Obrador. And he's actually sort of scoffed at it and made fun of it and joked it off. Uh, and the people, the voters don't seem to mind.